Okay, the conversation continues. Ayo, George, you're welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Ayo, do you know Yahoo Boys? Ah, well, we, we see a few everywhere. <laughs> They've become sort of um, a part of our lives. We, anywhere you go these days, and um, they sort of have this means of identification. Yeah. Once you see a Yahoo boy, you can easily recognize. How? Yeah, yeah, they are dressing, the kind of cars they drive. They pimp it in such a way that, you know, it's different from the normal cars. The alloy rims, the, everything about them. They want a hairstyle that will be different. You know? But I see some of them that looks good too. Calm. Calm. You don't even know. Probably very few. Probably very few of them. Now, is it true that when you use a flashy car as a young person, you must be a Yahoo man or a Yahoo boy? As not the case true. Be? It's not true. Not it's not true. true. Not, not true. Yeah. Now, look at the police. Mm -hmm. Is the police handling this matter properly? Well, the Nigerian police too. They're trying their best, but not without some flaws. And then, what's this? Is there a sincerity of purpose on the part of the Nigerian police too? You know. Um, put um, the uh, to bring them to book, or the Nigerian police. Okay, some of them even like to stop Yahoo boys because they know that sometimes they pay them more. Yeah. You know, because they want to get off the hook. So if there is no sincerity of purpose to curb the problem, you can never really curb that problem. I know this police stop; they do stop and check. You know, but how many? You know, just recently I opened the pages of newspapers. I see that the EFCC is trying hard to get a lot of them. You know, to bring them accountable to book, but then. You know, is there how sincere is the is our security operative? What security mechanism do we have to even to prevent this? Now, some of them, you know, them, the police, you know, apprehend them and they still go back. I heard that people actually learn to be a Yahoo boy. Yeah. You go for it, you learn like you're learning a skill to now, be a Yahoo boy. Now, let's <laughs> even come because while I knew why I brought you here, mm. you are in the street. Yes, yes. Are you, you are on the street too. Mm. And I know. Both of you understand the story very well. Yes. What makes one a Yahoo boy? Yeah. Well, from my own perspective, it will be you making money illegally, one, and um, also trying to scam unsuspecting innocent either Nigerians or people abroad. By any means? By any means. And um, I heard it's uh, the marriage proposal that works. Tell me about it. To um, those ladies abroad, they propose marriages to them. Those ones begin to send money to them. Mm -hmm. Then from there, once the money is not enough, because it is never enough, they begin to devise other means by probably entering into people's accounts, yes. moving funds from one account to the other, and stuff like that. Did, is there Yahoo Plus? Oh, mm. the, the, there is. <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the thing is a whole industry. It is. Yes. Uh, with, um, in fact, it's quite an organized and disciplined industry. Tell me what for, you know. For the, for the participants. Um, you know, there's, there's, so much, there's so much you can get from playing on someone else's greed or need. So some of them then go ahead to, you know, patronize our um, abalis. Or, um, I'm, I'm trying not to say the wrong thing. Maybe not abalis, but the people that perform these um, rituals that enable them to gain some supernatural powers where you listen to what they say or do as they say or, or uh, are more obliged to, you know, want to please them. And it works. Oh well, to some to some extent, it, it works. Seems to work. I mean, we see all we see all the cars. <laughs> Adifemi, have you heard of stories of um, Yahoo boys having tortoise under their car seats? Oh yes, it's on the news every day. You hear a news story every day, and you are alarmed as to what kind of country we are building when we're raising a generation of young people that have no problems. You know, doing the thirst for money, you know, is very, exactly. is above normal, is above what a society should accept. You know, kidnappings, not just Yahoo, kidnappings, you know, ritual killings, Yahoo Plus. People, there's just a very serious thirst to get money quick. And what do they do with the money? 
you know, it's not like you heard, I've never, you know, heard a story of a Yahoo boy that got money and then went up to set a successful business. They always want more money. Is that and true? And what do they do with the money? Do they set up businesses, Ayo? A few of them do because um, on the long run, they want to make the money legitimate. You know, they want to find a means to make it to, like to, to, to clean the money. You know, because the money has been gotten illegally. So they want something legal to put the money in. Do they run successful businesses? They don't because it crashes at the yes. end of the day. It crashes. Yeah. Why do you want to intervene? Yes, um, I, I think it's also very important to put in perspective the the Yahoo as against the Yahoo Plus because that helps in answering the question you just asked. I don't think Yahoo boys bother with businesses. Mm -hmm. The Plus, they don't bother with businesses. They don't even want to work. Yes. The work they want to do, which they feel believe is hard work, is mm -hmm. that... Um, pressing the keyboard all night and, you know, doing whatever rituals they need to do. For the Yahoo boys, that's the actual crime as the criminal code, you know. They, they feel they're smarter than most. They feel they have um, a game of play and they, they try to get money from people, you know. Some of those actually try to start up businesses, not because they don't like the free money in quotes, mm -hmm. but because it is, it is uh, when you when you're able to successfully launder money, then it's another it's another step in the industry, yes. because you can now be the chief launderer and everybody's bringing. <laughs> uh, we know some of them. Some of them are big Imagine. big boys on Instagram yes. buying Bentleys yeah. and Rolls Royces. They are laundering money for mm -hmm. all these guys because they're in countries or places where it's easy to change this money into gold or clothes or something else and resell. This is big business. Big business. Yes. It's a cartel. Yeah. Yes. Then we are in trouble, right? Oh, yes. yes. Very, yes. very Definitely. big trouble. Yes. Huh. The lines are open. 080-915-51055. You can also call 080-569-98678. And then the number to call is 070-694- Nine three zero double zero. Remember, I'm discussing with a Defemi Buknor of American Corner. I also have Ayo George here, and Wale Agbaje is also here. He's a media consultant and a brand development expert. We'll be back after this break, so don't go away. State Affairs with Edmondo Bilo is live. <laughs> 